I need 3,000 likes on this video if y'all want me to continue and give y'all GTA news and updates on this channel because 2K, I have no interest in it no more, especially with GTA 6 being announced. That's the only thing on my mind. I think about GTA 6 more and more every day and I just want to be honest with what I'm most excited about looking into GTA 6 and it has to be the strangers random events and the things that could happen throughout the game that is what rockstar does and it is always right on the nail i am excited for the possibilities because let's think about it we're in florida florida has the most ridiculous types of people and that's what the trailer was showing off i don't know if there'll be a social media you could follow in game that will update you with weird stuff happening that you can interact with but the way that they structured this lets you know this city is going to be wild the second you land into it looking back at gta 5 trevor was the best character to describe what i imagine this florida to be like I'm sorry, I showed my thingy, okay? Being able to just see this happening in front of your face and intervene, that'd be perfect. That is why trickle-down economics is a load of shit. Hey, it was an accident! His head just came off! I had nothing to do with it! Don't get me started on the storytelling of Red Dead Redemption, with the side characters and the little interactions you had with them rockstar does this so well and the florida being the sandbox is only going to open the imagination mister please you have to help me oh uh, you're still down there yes i'm still down here because nobody will help me Will you do something, please? For those of y'all that don't know this side mission, imagine walking to a random gun store in a video game and the owner of the store kidnapped a man and pretended it's his son. Happy to have you. Oh, hey. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now. All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to you wake know, him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Oh, you, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. He can't. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Just what the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son. Don't shoot me, please. Just... Hurry, get these shackles off me, please. And I hope in GTA 6 you get to play these stories however you want with multiple variations of the ending. Because imagine you killed a kid. He can't see. Just what the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son of a bitch. No, the chains. Shoot the chains. No! What have you done? Not again. <laughs> I hope Rockstar really cooking up something crazy because this game is taking too long to make for only the right reasons. I hope they doing what I know they capable of. Which makes the game way more interesting and the storytelling they have. Most Rockstar things come out of real life events so they make parodies like the trailer obviously they come out of movies so they do recreation of segments with florida they have so many different things they could recreate in so many different directions like this moment in particular where if you touch the briefcase you will be hunted after and potentially killed yeah, 
motherfuckers, eh? They took the fucking money down the hill. Don't do it! Stay away from that case! Now, you are a dead man! Ugh! Everything good do have to come with something bad, though. Some of the stranger in events in GTA 5 were tedious and annoying when all I wanted to do was see how the story played out, but they made you do little dumb, tedious tasks in the middle. Like this one, for example, you had to shoot real estate signs and you had to drive all around the city to find little real estate signs to advance the story. I ain't really want to shoot no real estate signs, I just wanted to see how this story play out. And that's something I can see being a GTA 6 that will annoy me at the time, but to see how a story play out, I definitely will be doing that. Just finding collectibles in games has always been something I never like to do. Searching every nook and cranny for every little item, and then you gotta find 100 different versions of an item. I never like doing that in video games, that's just me personally. Developers put it in the game for 100% completionist people, and I've never been one of those. So, that's an area of the game that I won't like that comes with the strangers and random events. But beggars can't be choosers, I'm just happy GTA 6 is even announced at this point. I'm excited to see how the internet gonna work on GTA 6 because back in 2013, the internet wasn't as prevalent as it is now in this day and age. Everything runs through the internet and social media. So them even having you go to a website in game to complete a side quest lets me know that they definitely gonna have you looking up a whole lot more in GTA 6 when it comes to side quests and the internet. They gotta have us doing more internet things cause this game is 10 years into the future and the internet has only gotten more and more powerful and more and more important in the people's lives. So I'm super excited about these small side quests and all of these challenges they gonna have us doing in this upcoming game. Joining the religious group of GTA 5, I think this was the biggest side quest that they had in the game with strangers and the random events. I think this was the biggest one. Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Yo, peace, brother, brother. Kiflam. Oh, Kiflam. really? Oh! If random NPCs that you drive past don't get 5 star wanted levels, then I won't believe that it's Florida. I want helicopters, SWAT teams chasing after random cars in GTA 6. There wasn't enough of that or any of that, if I think, in GTA 5. The pedestrians didn't get in cop trouble. Well, we need that in Florida. If they're going to be in Vice City, Florida, we need the random NPCs getting in trouble with the police because you know they up to no good. There should be police chases driving past you, helicopters are flying overhead, cops trying to arrest random pedestrians because you know they up to no good. I just want to see how strange the strangers and random events are going to be in GTA 6 based on the setting that they're giving us. I cannot wait. Let me know in the comments what y'all thinking about something that y'all are most excited for for GTA 6 that hasn't been thought about so far.